Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial just to introduce variables and strings within Java. Uh, and really, like I said in the first couple lessons, these aren't going to be comprehensive Java tutorials at all. And really, I'm just going to teach you as much Java as you need to get around and build your apps in Android. But I figured I would start at the very, very basics, just so those of you who have no programming or no um, Java experience whatsoever will sort of know what's going on. Of course, uh, if you have any sort of Java experience, and you know, even if you've been programming a little bit, this is going to be a breeze and there's really nothing crazy here at all. So uh, feel free to skip this video if you know any bit of Java because this is going to be the absolute most very basic thing you could know, okay? So first off, I'm going to start talking about variables. And a variable is sort of what you'd expect it to be. It's sort of something that holds some bit of information uh, so that you can reuse it. So uh, one type of variable is a string. And a string is just uh, a group of characters like a, a word or anything like that that you're going to repeat. Uh, it's not a number that you're, um, it's not an array of things. Uh, those are other different data types. So this data type string is what you'd be used for any sort of text that you're going to be printing out or something like that. Uh, so what we want to do to declare a variable is you need to first declare what kind of data type it is. So like I explained, these are going to be strings, and a string is text. So we need to say string, okay? And so we're declaring that this variable is going to be a string. Uh, we'll go over, like I said, other data types like arrays and uh, true or false values and things like that in later tutorials. Uh, but okay, so we're saying that this is a string, and then we're going to declare our variable name. So our variable name is sort of like an alias that you give your variable. So when you're referring to this, uh, it's the variable's name. So you'd refer to it by this name. And the convention for this is to start with lowercase, and if you have more than one word, uh, it's called camel case, where the second word is capitalized. And uh, the you can use numbers, but generally conventions are don't start with a number, don't use any special characters unless it's like an underscore or something. And uh, the general is to use this camel case. So I'm going to say this string is a hello world string. And so notice how I capitalized world. And next, I'm going to say it's equal. So the string uh, is equal to, and then when you're declaring strings, you need to wrap them in quotes. So I'm going to say hello world string is going to be equal to hello world, or let's say hello level up tuts. Okay, and one last thing, we need to finish this off with a semicolon. A semicolon is a way to end your line in Java. So this, uh, this right here, string hello world is equal to level up tuts. Uh, this is setting your first variable hello world as hello level up tuts. And now later in our application when we want to do things like print out hello level up tuts, anytime we'd want to do that, we'd just be uh, printing this variable and it's going to know to print this text. Like I said, this is just the very basic overview of strings. We're going to be getting into a lot more stuff uh, and how it pertains to uh, Android. So in the next video, we're going to be taking this knowledge of variables and strings and we're going to make a variable and we're going to do something with it on our actual Android application. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on this video. Uh, hit us up at Twitter Love Up Tuts. Like I said, this is very basic. This is uh, a very, very small chunk. We're going to be going over lots more. So let us know what you're thinking. This is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.